another way of using forms, and that's creating the quote-unquote dashboard. What is a dashboard? Well, the different things to different people. Um, the, uh, what I'm referring to as a dashboard is really not much more than a user interface because the average user doesn't want to have to look at all this stuff. They don't want to have to deal with these things. I don't want them, in many cases, to be messing around under the hood here. So what we do is we might create a form. I'm going to use our form design in this case as opposed to the wizard. By clicking our form design, it gives me a basic form to start with. Nothing on it, just a blank form. And that's all I'm looking for. Because now what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and use that rectangle. We're going to put a big one right smack in the middle of our screen here. And again, just because I like it. And you've got to tolerate me liking it. I'm going to inset mine. On this now, we're going to click on our label tool. We're going to add a label. Now, I'm going to actually stretch this one because I know it's going to be a little bit bigger, right? We're going to say, call it ABC the ABC Company Reporting Tool. So at this point, I'm going to go back to home. We're going to bold it. We're going to increase that size. If we want to, we can go ahead and we could add our company logo to this. We could add it to the reports, too, if we wanted to, by simply going back to our design tool. And uh, let's see, where's the image? Actually, you can even copy and paste it, and there you go. You can click on here um, and, and drop, I'm sorry, here, and, and either one. You can drop in an image, and off you go. But the idea here is just to build a, a, an easy user interface, something the average person can come in and utilize. So I'm going to add buttons inside of our little rectangle down here. And in this case, we're going to say, look, I want to use a report operation. What do I want to do? I can mail it. I can open it. I can preview it, print it, and you can even uh, send it to a file if we want to. In this case, I actually want to preview it. Is that good enough for me? Oh, heck no. We're going to get there in a second. So now it says, okay, well, here's a list of reports available to you. Which one do you want to use for this button? So we've only got one right now, so it's already selected. So we would select it and click Next. And instead of using just this little image here, I'm going to click Text. And now we're going to call this one Sales Under. We'll click Next. Again, I usually leave the command alone and click Finish. And now we're done. We have a, a button inside of our form. I've got two no, buttons. I want another one. I got more reports, queries, whatever I want to add in here. I can add buttons to call to those things. We're going to save this. Now, this one I'm going to call. You don't have to do this. I do it just to know what I'm looking for. Main menu. We'll click OK. And we're going to execute that. What do we see? Well, two buttons. Our company name. Click a button. Runs a report. Now I can print it. I can zoom in, view my stuff. I can print it. I'm done. I click the X. brings me back to my user interface. I want to look up my customer, click my customer lookup. Also note, anything that's open is open up here in a tab. Now, I have one more thing I want to add to that user interface. So we're going to go back to our design view. We're going to add one more button down here. We're going to select our application, and we have one option there, and that's quit application. I'm just going to click Finish. That's how we get back out. So again, we'll save our work. We're going to click View. I want to leave this thing. I'm out. Just closed access now. Um, but this is okay, but I don't want to have to do this to get my menu open. I want the user to just see that when it comes on, right? So this is different in different versions. I mean, in the end, it's the same basic thing, but uh, different versions hide it in different places. Uh, if we click on File, we can go down to Options, which opens up a little window for us. And I'm going to go to Current Database Options. We can title it. 
call it ABC Reports. We don't have to. We could even associate an icon with it, which I'm not going to bother with. But more importantly, we can tell it to display a form when it's executed. I want it to display my main menu, which is why I call it main menu, because usually at this point I may have 10 or 12 other forms in the mix, so I know I'm looking for main menu. And that's great, because what's going to happen is, is when I launch it, and here, we're going to stop there for a second. We'll click OK. We're going to close our database and reopen it again. And that's one of the few things in Access that you'll have to close the database to enable. So automatically now, it brings up our main menu. Well, that's cool, but I'm still showing you the database. I don't necessarily want to do that. And I have the control to hide that. That's all I'm doing is really hiding it. So we're going to one more time go to File, Options, go back to our current database, and then down here you see where it says Navigation and Display Navigation Pane. Uncheck it. You could even hide the ribbon if you wanted to or create custom ribbons, that sort of thing. Um, the, uh, uh, but I'm just for now going to hide my Navigation Pane. We'll click OK. We'll close our database one more time. We'll launch it one more time. And voila, we have a user interface. The database is suppressed. The user can come into this. They can run there. They're, they can run what we've given them access to run. Click here to exit. Click here to exit. But we have created a nice, clean user interface. 